Hey guys, Vlad here with AVT Astro. So today I want to talk about cleaning eyepieces. Um, I'm actually kind of making this video because we have an astronomy fair with my astronomy club, the Rose City Astronomers. So hi to all of my astro folks in the club, uh, but I figure I might as well make a YouTube video out of this as well. Um, so pretty simple procedure, not too much to it. Um, I'll just kind of get right into it. Um, I do want to point out that I don't, I'm not like really taking credit for inventing this, you know, method of cleaning eyepieces. It's mostly um, the recommendation from Teleview, from Teleview's website that I use. Um, so yeah, let's kind of get into it. I'll talk about uh, all the equipment that we're using first and we'll kind of get into the actual cleaning process. All right, so what you're going to need is some dirty eyepieces. Let's take a look here. Yeah, this thing can use a clean and you can see, you know, it's got some grime on there. Um, the other thing, the next thing that you're going to need. So this is not just rubbing alcohol. What this is, is a mixture of 60% alcohol. That's kind of what my marks are there and 40% water. So that's the 40% and that's, you know, the rest of the 60. And usually I use not 91%, but 99% if you can find it alcohol. Uh, like Safeway usually sells it, so you mix that. And I do put the tiniest drop of Dawn non um, lotion, non nothing, just like the pure Dawn soap in there. So the tiniest drop that you could manage in there as well. Uh, optical brush. So this is actually not just like a regular painter's brush or anything. This is an actual optical brush. And these bristles are made out of camel hair. So, you know, the, the better quality brush that you could uh, get, the better. And this is, I believe, about as good as you can if you get the camel hair one. So bulb to kind of, you know, blow off dust. Um, cotton balls. You're going to need these. Uh, pure cotton, nothing special. You know, they sell them at, at pretty much every other store. And last but not least, your wife might have these, or if not, you know, they usually sell these in the cosmetic aisle. So these are Q-tips, but they're also uh, not regular Q-tips. They're kind of like the pointed type, and we'll kind of talk about why these are much better for eyepieces in particular than regular Q-tips. All right, well, let's get into the actual cleaning process. All right, so we're ready to begin. So uh, this kind of applies not only to eyepieces, any type of optics that you're cleaning. The very first thing you want to do is to remove any dust or particulars on the lens that you can without touching it. So you blow it off. So that's the very first thing you always do, whether you're cleaning eyepieces, corrector plates, whatever. So you blow off as much as you can. Like this lens is, you know, pretty clean. It doesn't have like a bunch of dust on it, so not too big of a deal. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is hit it with your optical cleaning brush. Uh, so you're not trying to like really rub in there, but just, you know, kind of go in there gently and, you know, whatever the bulb didn't get, uh, hopefully, you know, you could flick away with this thing. And the reason that you do that is because when, when you actually get to the actual cleaning step of uh, the eyepiece, you know, when you actually get your cotton ball and you go in there, you're literally like if there's like a piece of sand on there, I mean, you're rubbing this so you do have the potential of scratching the lens, which, you, you know, obviously you don't want. So the first thing that I do before I, you know, actually put cotton to the eyepiece is I usually, if there's a uh, rubber eye guard, I remove it because these things are kind of uh, lint magnets, so cotton tends to stick to them really well. Um, so, you grab your uh, cleaning solution, put as little on there as you can. You don't want to have this thing drenched because um, unless it's a waterproof eyepiece, you do have the chance of getting water in between the elements. And if you do, you know, you're in for a world of hurt. So you don't want to do that. So anyhow, pretty simple. Um, you know, you just put uh, the cotton in there. Don't like really push on it. Just lightly basically scoop up and you do one scoop and you throw that piece of cotton away you grab the next one if you need a little bit more liquid on there you know put you put a little bit more liquid and you know you go at it again and then typically at this point you know the the lens is probably pretty clean um and you know you can you know, take a look at it and kind of gauge if you need to do more than like you know a couple of swipes or whatnot uh typically what i'll do is i'll just turn around the same uh, cotton ball and kind of start to dry it off so this is the most crucial step to getting a um, basically film-free finish on this is kind of the drying process. So then I'll take another just totally dry 
uh, cotton ball at this time. I wipe one more time, I turn it over, wipe one more time, kind of look at it. Um, if you need to uh, kind of get into the edges, so this is a pretty big eyepiece lens, so it's not too big of a deal to do it with just cotton balls. But if you need to get into the edges, this is where these guys come in. This is very good. And, you, you know, you could dip this in, like, the cleaning solution, too, if you need to. But for just drying off, you know, you could get really into the corners of the, of the lens there and kind of, you know, clean it all off. Um, another kind of pro tip. Um, if, you, you know, if after you're done cleaning this, there's still, like, a little bit of a film on there to where you could see, like, the cleaning marks on there. And you want to get rid of those. Which, by the way, those usually don't really affect the view much, but they don't look pretty. Um, basically, just put a little bit of your breath on there, so, you know, you go like, you put a little bit of, uh, you know, like a little bit of a, a coating of water with your breath, and then you take another uh, cotton ball and you wipe that, and the, usually if you do that, you'll get like a really nice, like new looking lens, basically. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that, and, you know, you could do this side uh, the same exact way, basically. Um... Another kind of uh, just quick tip, if you're, you know, if you if you're doing an eyepiece that's got a removable barrel on the bottom, be careful with this. Um, some eyepieces that this this like if you unscrew this, they actually hold the actual lens in there. So you want to look in there and see if you see a retaining ring. If you do, you can unscrew this, and um, that way you could get in there, you know, a lot clo a lot easier with you know with your con ball. You're not having to you know go through like the whole barrel and uh yeah so that makes it a lot easier so yeah that's really all there is to it um and usually i end up with um absolutely clean and brand new looking eyepieces by the time i'm you know done with that clean method so anyway get to it and have fun